Hello, welcome to our channel. I am Krishna Raghavendran and this is the part 2 of the to do app in MIT App Inventor. So in this tutorial, we are going to put a new button called it's going to be done. And let's change the property. I'm going to change the background color to something like orange and the text color is going to be black yes so now let's go to the blocks so here we can see the add remove which we did at the before we also need a label to store show that status so let's put the text to status and let the font size be 25. Yes, so this is label one. So here we are going to have a variable called status variable. And this, this is going to be an empty string. When we add the item, it also needs to add a status for it. So we are going to use a join block. So let's put text box one dot text, and then let's put not done. It is the status. So when they add the task, it means that they have not done the task. And when they only click this button. This will be changed to done. Yes. So now we, we can also, let's put instead of a space, let's put something like this. Yes. So now let's do the same thing for replace. Instead of this, it's, it's going to be this one. And then this is button 6. So when button 6 is clicked, we are going to split something. We, we will split the, the text box 1.txt, which is the task, and then the status. So how can we split using the hyphen? So I'm going to put set status. Here, let me put text. Split text that. So the text is going to be the item which they have selected. So list view one dot selection. Here we have it, and it should split at this one hyphen. So index one of the list is the task. So now let's put index in list. The list is going to be this one and the thing. I'm sorry, not this one. Yeah, select list item list is going to be this one. And then the index is going to be So the status is going to be index 2. So now let me put 2 here. Yes. And then we also need another variable which is called the task. So we will set this task to index 1. Yes, so now we need to replace it. So here we have replace list item. The list is going to be the global to do list. The index is going to be list view one dot selection index. And the replacement should be we need to join 
the status and the task but we we don't we let's just put task at the first and then we are going to put the status as done so now let me put hyphen done yes so now after the select an item it shows it should show the item selection selected items status here if it is done or not so for that we are going to do the same thing set global status and global task let's put it here after, after we set it then we just need to show the global task because here we will show the i'm sorry we need to show the global status in this label for label 1 so now let's put set label 1 dot text to the it's going to be get global task I'm sorry, global status. We are going to put this done button here. After the review, we need to set this view element to get global to do this. To, to, let's put even the tiny DB to save it. Yes, so now let's see if it is working. You can see our app. I'm going to add a task. It's going to be record video. Now I'll, uh, I'll add another task. It's going to be study. And another task. It's going to be play. So here you can see these three are not done. So after I finish it, we need to click on done. It shows done and if even if I sell it, it shows done. So now if you close the app and open it again, then also these data will not be gone because we are saving it in TinyDB. So now this is done. You can also remove it as it is done. So even this is done. Let me remove and this is done so now our app is working thank you for watching this tutorial and please subscribe like and share this video goodbye